This video shows an experiment exploring Le Chatelier's principle. The first example we'll look at uses bromothymol blue. Here you see a three-dimensional rendering of the bromothymol blue molecule. Solutions of bromothymol blue with an attached hydrogen ion appear yellow and turn blue with the removal of the hydrogen ion. The experiment is started by adding water to three separate test tubes. We see the water being added in here. Our next step is to add three drops of bromothymol blue pH indicator to each test tube. Next, we'll add hydrochloric acid, HCl, to the second test tube. Notice that the color in the test tube turns from blue to yellow. Now the third test tube will have NaOH, sodium hydroxide, added to it. Notice that the color of this tube now turns to blue. The control test tube that has only water has a neutral pH and a green color. The second tube has turned yellow because the equilibrium was shifted to the left by the addition of the hydrochloric acid. The third test tube has turned blue because the addition of the hydroxide ion shifts the equilibrium to the right. If we add additional sodium hydroxide to the second test tube, we can see that the color will turn blue. If we add hydrochloric acid back into the second test tube, if we add enough, so we'll need to add a little bit here plus a little bit more, and we should see that the color will turn back to yellow because the equilibrium position is being shifted back. The second experiment uses a solution of copper 2 chloride. In this example, the forward reaction process produces a blue colored solution and the reverse process produces a green colored solution. The experiment is set up by adding a solution of copper 2 chloride to five different test tubes. The second tube is going to be placed into a hot water bath. The third tube is placed into a beaker filled with an ice water bath. Solid calcium chloride is added to the fourth test tube. Notice that the color of this tube starts to turn green. This is because the addition of the chloride ion shifts the equilibrium position. Finally, ethanol is added to the fifth test tube. Notice the color of the tubes. Note the greenish color of the test tube from the hot water bath. The heat has shifted the equilibrium position to the left. Notice the tube from the cold water bath is blue. The absence of heat shifts the equilibrium position to the right. Notice the addition of chloride ion from the calcium chloride has caused the test tube to turn green. How did the addition of ethanol impact the equilibrium position of the final test tube? Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful.